Hi all, it's Erica, aka ECR Horses 1901, back for part two of my tier ranking all of the traditional sized Briar Horse molds. As a reminder, I won't be showing the actual tier chart until the end of the video, and it will build upon last week's. All pictures and pretty much all of my additional information is from the Identifier Briar website, which you see on the screen. Let's jump in! First up today, we have Black Stallion, introduced in 1981, sculpted by Chris Hess. A mold as old as I am, hooray! <laughs> this is another one I never had, although it was ubiquitous during the late 80s and early 90s. There's always been something of an awkward feeling to me with this mold, and that feeling has not lessened over time. If I had to choose, my favorite version of this mold would be from 2006, Jingles of Pegasus Therapeutic Riding Ink. I like the detail of the eye, and the chestnut coat looks good, certainly better than a lot of the other colors this mold has been given. Nevertheless, Black Stallion is D tier. Bluegrass Bandit, introduced in 2008, sculpted by Kathleen Moody and Summer Prosser. Hooray for a natural gated Tennessee walking horse mold. This mirror is really lovely. I like the dappling on the actual Bluegrass Bandit model. I don't know a ton about Tennessee walkers though, so if your intent is showing, I'd be careful of some of the fancier colors unless it's for sure a coat color that Tennessee walkers can have. For example, I don't believe they can be spotted, so as pretty as Milky Way from 2015 is, that would not be a show horse. Totally fine if you're just collecting for the fun of it though. Also, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Bluegrass Bandit, B tier. Bolia introduced in 1992, sculpted by Chris Hess. So this mold has some information behind it. It was originally designed in 1977 and was a portrait model of Hala, this horse here, who was Hans Gunther Winkler's show jumper in the 1956 and 1960 Olympic Games. But when this mold was re-released, they, and I quote, gave that mold a forelock, an unbraided mane, a beefed up neck, a tapered tail, and additional musculature to the chest and girth. They also turned her into an akolteke, as bolya means freedom in Russian. As an akolteke, this is a choice. It certainly can't hold a candle to the 2020 akolteke mold we saw in the first video, this mold has since been used for other breeds, such as a thoroughbred and an American warmblood. She's very bland, and I'm not surprised this mold has not been used for almost 10 years now. Unfortunately, Bolia is our second F tier. Boomerang, introduced in 2017, sculpted by Kathleen Moody. This horse was part of the Spirit Running Free collection, which I was way too old for. Although I did watch a couple of episodes of the cartoon, and it was confusing why there were these very modern looking and acting and talking girls who were supposed to be in the 1800s, but whatever. I know it wasn't made for somebody who was watching with a history degree and who was already four years into their professional career. Anyway, <laughs> this mold is nice enough, although the eye, and the eyebrow specifically, makes it a bit too cartoony for my taste. Two other less cartoony models were made on this mold. A Briarfest diorama contest prize in 2018, the glossy dark bay called Wind Placer Show, and in 2020, a tractor supply Palomino, technically a Dunalino, called Soledago. I quite like those two models, especially the glossy. So let's go C tier, but it's like a C plus. Bouncer, aka Welsh Pony. 
introduced in 2007, sculpted by Kathleen Moody. I adore this mold. I love the pony face, I love the compact pony body, I love the range of coat patterns. I think he's really great as a Welsh, and I know I look forward to showing my Brookside Pink Magnum real soon. Who you see here? A tear. Brady, introduced in 1974, sculpted by Chris Hess. How can you not like Brady? <laughs> I've never actually read Brady of the Grand Canyon, maybe I should get on that, but this mold is a winner no matter what. He comes also in a wide variety of colors, including the glossy pearlescent candy corn inspired Cornelius here from 2017, and I mean, come on, just look at him. <laughs> I'm especially partial to the 2002 Mischief the Holiday Donkey, and might just need to start searching for him. Although, so far my first few searches have not been fruitful, I am sure he is difficult to find. In any case, Brady is A tier. Next up is Bristol, introduced in 2018, sculpted by Morgan Kilborn. This is one of my favorite molds. Compared to the older jumping horse model, which we'll get to eventually, this one is light years better. Am I partial to the braided versus the unbraided? Not really, I like them both equally. Surprisingly, I don't have any of this mold yet, but I am very much a fan. S tier. Brown Sunshine, aka Mule. Introduced in 1996, sculpted by Bonnie Shields. Honestly, this mold really doesn't do it for me, and that name is... unfortunate. I even like some of the colors this mold comes in, I just can't picture myself ever springing to buy this one. D tier. Buckshot, introduced in 1985, sculpted by Bob Scriver. I was actually surprised this mold isn't older, because it strikes me as an older mold. But I digress. <laughs> this is another one that feels awkwardly posed to me, and because that's my first impression every time I see one, I'm extremely meh about it. The only model I really like on this mold is Pele who was a 2016 Briarfest Diorama Contest winner, or excuse me, award. It seems as though I like a bunch of those, actually, because he's this really nice, glossy, dappled, bright bay, and is quite striking. Other than that, though, just not impressed. D tier. Cantering Warmblood, introduced in 2017, sculpted by Morgan Kilborn. This was originally a Premier Collection mold that has since been used a number of times. I like it, it's another mold that feels versatile and looks great in a variety of colors. Gotta shout out the very unique metallic color shift version, a one of one from the Briarfest 2022 live auction which sold for $11,000. If only. <laughs> A tier. Cantering Welsh Pony, introduced in 1971, sculpted by Chris Hess. This is another mold where I'm willing to forgive the less than perfect confirmation because I've always liked it. As simple as that. Even though this mold has existed for a long time, I first remember seeing it as Terra, the bright dappled bay version, and immediately putting her on my wish list in 1995. And I did get her, in fact, I would show her if she was not downstairs packed away in the basement. This appears to be a mold that Briar just keeps releasing different models of, through special runs, and the Vintage Club, and there have been no less than 18 versions of this mold as one of one Briarfest auctions. B tier, but more like B plus. We are already nearing the end of this video. So next up is Cigar, introduced in 1998, sculpted by Susan Carlton Sifton. 
I loved Cigar, the actual horse. I remember when he was a big deal in the racing world, and I even traveled to the Kentucky Horse Park a couple of times while he was living at the Hall of Champions, just to be able to see him in the flesh. That said, I never had this model, although I do have positive feelings toward this mold. It's been used to depict many racehorses since, including Affirmed, Sunday Silence, and of course Barbaro. I don't have much more to really say about it, we'll just go ahead and give this a B tier. And that brings us to our final mold for this video, the Cleveland Bay, introduced in 2006, sculpted by Karen Y. Gerhardt. I don't know why, but when I look at any model that uses this mold, the first word that comes to mind is neat, <laughs> as in tidy. I do like this mold, although I definitely prefer models that have a mane, as opposed to the ones that are roached. This is yet another mold I feel has some versatility though, and I hope to add some to my show string someday soon. Real soon. <laughs> as in probably later this week soon. Um, anyway, A tier. And that does it for the second round of tier ranking every traditional size briar horse mold. The current totals are 4 in S tier, 8 in A tier, 5 in B tier, 9 in C tier, 5 in D tier, and just 2 in F tier. For some reason, the alternate Arabian mare mold keeps sneaking onto here, even though I have definitely gotten rid of it a million times because it's not F tier, so just please ignore that one. The only two in here are Bolia and the American Hackney, so yeah. <laughs> so here is where I add in the typical like, comment, subscribe line, but for real, I hope you will do so, and we'll see you next week. Bye.